Hello, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. Let's get started right where we left off at Juicy Chicken number one. So not a toquico, not a yoda, you know. That's quite a lot, then. Sio, Sio de Mujikin, she demitan de so. What about salt? You experimented with salt, too, right? Used a handful of table salt on a plate for one experiment. Nothing happened. Maybe the plate was in the way. Of course, we tried it without the plate, but that didn't change anything. Then maybe each individual grain of salt was too small or something. Hmm, I need a clue. Looks like our genius girl's fighting a hard battle. She starts pacing the room, looking a little annoyed. Anything else? Have you noticed anything else about the phone wave? Not phone wave. Phone wave. Name subject to change. Forget about that. So, have you noticed anything or not? Kirish is looking at Daru like she's asking him, not me. True, he should know more about the phone wave name subject to change than I do. He's done all the maintenance on it, after all. Oh, so Oh, right. One time it shot off a huge electrical discharge. What? I didn't I don't know anything about that. That's because you weren't around when it happened. Discharge. How much? Uh-oh. It was like a fluorescent light lit up in the development room. It lasted about two seconds, I guess. What were the circumstances? I was adjusting the cell phone attached to it. I unhooked it and put my own in. A little bit later, Sparky Sparky. When was that? Around noon yesterday, when you went to see Dr. Nakabachi's presentation. Oh. Wait. Is this connected with him traveling through... Whatchamadongers? Um... What are they called again? Frickin'... I'll put it on the screen, whatever. Dr. Nakabachi. Dr. Nakabachi. That's right, I went to see Dr. Nakabachi's conference yesterday. Come to think of it, he stole his time travel theory from John Titer. Maybe the current John Titer is actually Nakabachi. <laughs> But wait, Daru, didn't you say that Dr. Nakabachi's presentation was cancelled? Oh god. Yeah, but you went with Mayushi anyway, remember? No, I don't remember that. After all, Nakabachi's presentation wasn't cancelled the way I remember it. 
I still don't understand why my memories seem to disagree with everyone else's. So, you have a son of Jika, whatever that in the mirror was to Chuck Shinokotoko. That reminds me, I sent you an email back then. Did you get it? Mail it? An email? Kino, ATF de Missa de Creta mail. That email you showed me at ATF yesterday? When I nod, Kurdisu comes closer. Uh oh. So let the Tuska, what does he got so no happy okay, the Otokoni Sasari de Sinda? Do you know you that time? It said someone stabbed me at the presentation, didn't it? Oh, Dago, Dorno Kita, you want another cup? Is Shuka is your money to do it? Yeah, but for some reason, Dodger's phone received it a week ago. Huh? Are it okay in Uso Janain? Then I the time stamp of Okashina got in Narujan. Huh? Wasn't that one of your stories? If it wasn't, then that would make the time stamp weird. I always speak the truth. If you don't trust me, I'll show you my scent history. I whip out my phone and call up the history. But... It's not there. No. It's gone. Not a trace of that mail remains. According to my memory, I think it was about 30 minutes after Dr. Nakabachi's conference. About 10 people, including me, saw Kurisu's body, panicked, and fled Radikan. That's when I sent that mail. But no matter how many times I check, there's no record of it. It should be there, but it isn't. Just like the banana inside the phone wave named subject to change. Oh god. Where did it go? I could have sworn I sent it just before 1 p.m. Oh yeah, that's when the discharge phenomenon happens. The show I was watching was about to end. And your phone was hooked up to the microwave, and the microwave sends things back in- Oh no! Suddenly a flash of inspiration strikes. Inspiration! Edison would be proud. This isn't something you can accomplish with effort. Wait. This isn't something you can accomplish with effort. Basically, I'm a genius. I turn to Dadru and Carissa with a huge grin on my face. I get it. So that's what happens. Uh, what? Oh, this is one of Okarin's usual habits, so don't mind it. Seriously. Silence! I've reached the answer, and now the world will tremble. I slap the top of the phone wave name subject to change. The disappearance of my mail, the su the strange timestamp, and the sudden electrical discharge must be related somehow. God damn it! I thought you were gonna say time travel. Uh huh. Wait. Yep. De. And. Wait, what? Huh? I understand that they're related somehow, but... How? It's your job to figure that out, Christina. Hashida-san, <laughs> talking to this guy is so tiring. Hashida-san, 
<laughs> Everyone's like that at first. The trick is to not take him seriously. Ugh. Th th this is just hitting a little too real to home now. And you call yourself my right hand man? Whatever. I'll prove that I'm right. If we can reproduce the electrical discharge phenomenon, it should bring us closer to understanding the timestamp mystery. Daru, describe the phone wave name subject to change's status when the discharge problem occurred. Phenomenon occurred. It was kind of a mess. I connected my phone to the phone wave and was testing to see if I could control it with the X68000. I disconnect the phone plugged into the phone wave name subject to change and replace it with mine. And then I hear the door open and lounge. Oh no. I'm home! So hungry. Mayuri comes in carrying a convenience store bag. Looks like she's done with work. Time to eat some chicken. Juicy chicken number one. Oh no. Okarin, did you buy the bananas? Okarin. Uh oh. When she enters the development room, her eyes go wide. Huh? We have a guest? Once she notices Karisu, Mayuri bows her head with her usual smile. Mayushi des. Yoroshikune. I'm Mayushi. Nice to meet you. Makise des. Labomen ni natta mitai des. I'm Makise. Uh, apparently I'm a lab mem now. Eh, honto? Sugoi! Onna no ko no labomen da. Really? That's great. Another girl lab mem. Daru, what were you doing with the X68000? Like I said, I was adjusting the incoming mail settings. I was monitoring the moment it received mail for remote control. That's why I put it on freezing mode for 120 seconds, too. I made it so that you can start freezing mode by computer. I tested that out yesterday, too. Mayuri, insert the juicy chicken number one into the phone wave name subject to change. You all want some? I can give you one each. With her usual ditziness, Mayuri puts the chicken inside the microwave. Daru explains what everything on the computer monitor means. Doesn't look that different from using DOS. I enter 120 pound on the keyboard and strike the enter key. The phone wave name subject to change starts up. The juicy chicken number one starts spinning backwards on the turntable. Karisu stares hard at the phone wave name subject to change, as if not to let any anomaly, no matter how slight, escape her notice. <laughs> So, we've reproduced the conditions that existed when the discharge phenomenon occurred, right? Uh, how is it again? 
You there, assistant. Huh? Huh? Me? Who else? Who <laughs> Who else? When did I become your assistant? Just send something to my phone. If we've reproduced the conditions correctly, then if she sends something to my phone while it's connected to the phone wave, name subject to change, it should arrive with a timestamp from the past, not the present. But my assistant Kurisu just scowls. <laughs> I don't even know your email address. What a useless assistant. Don't call me your assistant. Daru, send me an email from your phone. Uh, sure, but what? Anything. えっと、えっと、クリスティーナは変態。これで送れ。センクリスティーナはペルフ。変態禁止って言っただろ。I Good job, Hashida-san. Kurisu grins and gives Daru a thumbs up. I really don't like this. Ah, Oh no, Mayushi's bananas! It sounds like Mayuri has found the results of our latest experiment. There's still two. They became gel bananas. We experimented on them. But they were Mayushi's. Want me to send the mail now? Mayushi-san, You'll be reimbursed later. By Hoenn son, that is. Why me? Jeez, why do you always have to experiment on Mayushi's food? Ah, don't tell me you're experimenting on the chicken, too. We are. Hi, hi. So sin suru. Okay, sending it now. Sending, sending, click. Mayushi slips past and steps up to the active phone wave name subject to change. It's gonna kill her, isn't it? Before anyone can react, she grabs the handle. Oi, what the? I'll kill Wait, don't open that. Huh? But it's too late. Oh god. Blue white light fills the room, crackling angrily like the heart of a storm. An electrical discharge. A violent sparking sound. I grab Mayuri and pull her away from the phone wave named subject to change. Are we gonna die? Jesus. 